Variational Base on Monte Carlo Steroids by Aditya Grover and Stefano Armand from Stanford University. How can we learn probability distributions over vast quantities of unlabeled sensory data in the form of images, text, and video to build next generation of machine learning systems? A standard approach is to learn generative models that can statistically correlate the data that we observe X through latent unit C. In this setting, we are interested in learning parameters that maximize the log likelihood of observing the training data. However, the expressiveness in latent variable models comes at a cost. The log likelihood is computationally intractable to evaluate as it requires marginalizing over the exponentially many configurations of latent units. Variational based approaches sidestep this difficulty in learning directed latent variable models by approximating the posterior over the latent units with a simple tractable distribution and optimizing the elbow, which is the evidence lower bound obtained using Jensen's inequality. Hence, learning is critically dependent on the quality of the variation approximation and with a poor approximation, the KL divergence gap between the elbow and the true log likelihood can be arbitrarily large. In this work, we use random projections to provide a new class of bounds on the marginal log likelihood of directed models with discrete latent units. In contrast to standard variation approaches, which minimize the KL divergence between the approximate posterior and true posterior over a variational family of distributions such as the mean field, we follow a two-step approach. First, we randomly project the true posterior using parity constraints. In the second step, we minimize the KL divergence between the variational distribution and the projected distribution as before. The randomly projected distributions are much simpler to characterize theoretically and can also recover the true posterior since the parity constraints affect the original distribution in a highly predictable way. As a result, we get tight guarantees over our estimate that hold with high probability. We also develop a black box learning algorithm for belief networks called Variational Bayes on Monte Carlo Steroids, or VBMCS in short, that incorporates random projections within the Variational Bayes framework. Given a belief network with n latent units, out of which k are constrained, the high level working of the algorithm is as follows. At every iteration of a gradient based algorithm such as SGD, we perform t runs of random projections in parallel, where we first randomly generate constraints to restrict the support of the posterior distribution. Then, we minimize the KL divergence between the proximate distributions belonging to a variational family and the projected posterior. Unlike standard variational approaches, where the Monte Carlo estimation computes an expectation over a handful of states, VBMCS reasons over exponentially many configurations of the approximate posterior. Finally, the t individual estimates are aggregated, and the model and inference parameters are updated based on the gradients of the randomly projected estimate of the log likelihood. We tested VBMCS for generative modeling of images and documents using the architecture of a sigmoid belief network. For image modeling on the Caltech 101 Silhowitz data set, the randomly projected estimates of the negative log likelihood are lower than the elbow estimates. Even qualitatively, sigmoid belief networks trained using random projections perform well on application tasks such as denoising and sample generation. Similarly, for document modeling on the NIPS proceedings data set, the randomly projected estimate of the log perplexity is tighter than the elbow estimate. Qualitatively, it generates word frequency distributions that are highly reflective of the expected trend. To conclude, we proposed a new class of tight variational bounds on the log likelihood of directed latent variable models with discrete latent units. Our proposed algorithm, VBMCS, shows good empirical performance in generative modeling of images and documents. For more information, please visit the URL.